Detroit has many names and is known for many things. The history of the city runs deep, and countless of national and international movements and ideas emerged from here. Muslims in America are seen by some as something new and that immigrated here. But the truth is that there's a very rich history of the origins of Islam in America here in Detroit. Islam in America can't be talked about unless this place, Masjid Wali Muhammad, is included. Because you had many uh, believers who died in the streets of Detroit to establish Islam here in America when it was very unpopular. Son of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, Imam Warf Dean Muhammad, okay, he in 1975 changed the temple to Masjid as we came out of the Nation of Islam and embracing uh, Orthodox or Sunni Islam. The Nation of Islam uh, was, I would say, foundational for uh, many of us that, that uh, went through that experience. It, it, it helped with social development and, and, you know, much of what we understood of the theology was not Islamic, but much of it was. I transitioned from that Nation of Islam theology and understanding to uh, Orthodox Islam. 1950s was when this building was purchased and uh, Malcolm came after, after he came, got out of prison, he came here with his brother and he became a minister here. Islam in the 60s, in the, in the early 70s, when, when uh, immigrants came with their religion, and, and we, had, we had already uh, really knocked down a lot of doors, you know, and we, the name Allah and Muhammad was a, a household name here in the 60s because of the the progression because of the, the uh, work and the striving of, of these earlier pioneers. Sister Clara Muhammad, uh, her children uh, were not sent to public school and she was uh, cited for not sending her children to public school. And we had others whose uh, children were taken out of the, 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 uh, the family and put into foster care because they would homeschool their children and wouldn't send them to public schools. And so uh, Sister Claire Muhammad, she, what we call her, she's the originator of homeschooling. And today we have many different uh, mosques and massages as we call them, and many different private Islamic schools. Uh, the school was founded in 1991. So this will make uh, 27 years for us operating. It's an Islamic school, however, uh, we do have the uh, state-approved curriculum. Uh, we are K through 12. The purpose of having an having Islamic school, uh, first and foremost, is the environment. Environment makes the greatest impression upon a child. We wanted the Islamic environment where children would not feel threatened to be who they really are, and that is to be Muslim. So they wouldn't feel the threat of someone picking at them, pulling their scarf off, or all of the other things that go along sometimes with children's meanness. We want children to know their religion. And our religion being al-Islam, a religion needs to be taught to children uh, at an early age because it becomes a part of who they are. It shapes them. And also, uh, for the language of our holy book, which is uh, the, the Quran, the language is Arabic. Fortunately, here in the Detroit area, there's a large Muslim population. In the metro Detroit area period, there's a large Muslim population. So a child does not feel as alienated but if you take them uh, to some of the, the other cities, and, and some cities that I know of, where you hardly see a Muslim. The whole area, okay, has established their communities, they've established their businesses, their schools, their mosques. And so, you know, 
we 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 have a, a an expectation now that it's it's pro it's good to be Muslim, okay, and that we've established communities here, okay. So we're tied to the community, and we have the Bangladeshi, the Yemeni community, the uh, 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 South Asians. You know, we have uh, Muslim communities all around us of different ethnicities. There is so much more rich history on the ties of leaders from the Nation of Islam and what African American Muslims have accomplished in Detroit. Today, we still see those accomplishments and how they have impacted the Muslim communities.